Hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Matej Pončák. I'm a PhD student at uh, uh, Brno University of Technology and today I would like to talk about my project called Raspberry Pi Pico Development Kit. So uh, let's move to the table of contents. Uh, so uh, at first uh, we say uh, why to do uh, all this project. Uh, then I move to uh, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico board and then I introduce you a uh, hardware platform and its uh, block uh, diagram, PCB design and uh, its assembly and testing. So, uh, uh, in our university we have of course uh, embedded systems uh, where the students uh, are uh, taught to program microcontrollers and they are using uh, this board to make it possible uh, and this board contains uh, eight bit microcontroller from NXP HCS08 family. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, as you can see, this board has some buttons, LEDs, uh, uh, LCD display, uh, and uh, students are le learning uh, how to write machine code, uh, how to use instruction set, or uh, writing uh, their programs in C language. Uh, and they are programming uh, some basic uh, peripherals like GPIO, uh, PVM, UART or LCD display. So uh, why to uh, do some <laughs> new board? Uh, it's because uh, I would say it, this board is uh, maybe obsolete and uh, the main reason is also the um, development, development environment is uh, not uh, working, working uh, all the time. So if you have uh, laboratory exercises and you need to deal with uh, development environment that is not working properly, uh, it's not uh, very good. So uh, because uh, of those uh, reasons, uh, we have to uh, use a Raspberry Pi Pico board, uh, which was introduced by Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, maybe one and a half year ago. Uh, this board uh, is based on their own microcontroller RP2040, which is dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus, uh, and it has 30 GPIOs some uh, commonly used peripherals and maybe I uh, would mention uh, that it has uh, eight programmable input output uh, state machines which can be um, uh, which are we, we could say that it's uh, eight another uh, small microcontrollers that can uh, work independently uh, the, uh, the uh, main uh, processor. Uh, so we decided to use it as the heart of the new hardware platform and uh, to be able to use in, uh, it in education and to not uh, <laughs> connect uh, other peripherals with wires and uh, just to focus on uh, programming on this board. Uh, so we decided to uh, make this platform which contains not only some basic uh, uh, and indicators, but also uh, some uh, uh, output uh, uh, such as PVM audio or PCM audio and some video output like VGA and DVI. Uh, it has this board uh, has also a debugger to uh, easily program the board and uh, debug it. Uh, 
So this is uh, a PCB. Uh, it's uh, 100 by 100 millimeters. Uh, it, uh, it uses four layers uh, PCB stack up. Uh, it also contains impedance controlled rules because of uh, USB, DVI, uh, or VGA signals. As you can see, it consists uh, mostly of uh, SMD parts. Uh, it can be programmed by uh, USB. Uh, also uh, debugged by this USB connector uh, and manufacturing price is around uh, 1,300 Czech crowns. So this is uh, one of first prototypes which were made. Uh, at first I tried to um, um, assembly it by reflow, but <laughs> I would say that it successfully failed. Uh, so I decided <laughs> to solder it uh, manually, uh, and then it uh, worked uh, properly. Then I wrote some uh, testing and demo programs, uh, and uh, uh, I retargeted uh, some uh, libraries such as uh, Pico VGA or Pico QVGA and uh, because of uh, first prototypes were made uh, last year uh, this academic year this board was uh, used for another final thesis assignments and uh, there were made uh, RP uh, graphic user First library, which also uses USB mouse and keyboard. Uh, some another project uses uh, SD card, and another thesis uh, uh, some student uh, developed speech synthesizer based on this board. So to conclude, uh, it uh, I introduce you completely new hardware platform and some testing uh, and uh, demo programs. Uh, and uh, I would mention that uh, um, I think that the main benefit of this project is that it's uh, uh, published on GitHub. And if you uh, would like to use it, you, you can uh, use it uh, on your own purposes. So uh, to continue, there are needed uh, uh, some uh, improve, small improvements of PCB, uh, such as uh, support for uh, Raspberry Pico uh, with uh, Wi-Fi uh, support, which was introduced uh, just after uh, doing this board. Uh, and uh, then it should be used as a teaching aid in the course embedded system, which was the main reason uh, why this uh, project was made. And uh, it can be used for another uh, final thesis assignments. So thank you for attention, and uh, I will be happy to answer questions. Thank you for the presentation. Are there some questions to this presentation? Yes. Did you already put it into the teaching classes or just prepare it to set it into the teaching? And if already you put it into classes, do you have some feedback from students or from teachers? What's the improvement? What's the efficiency of the teaching? No, it uh, wasn't uh, put in uh, education, but as I mentioned, it was uh, already used for uh, some uh, thesis, and uh, feedback and is good. To, to make it for each and every student, I mean, the amount of people. Uh, if you have like 100 students in your class, you are able to distribute it in such an amount, or if you plan just to use it as a project, Yes, I understand. Uh, laboratory exercises are for 
maybe around 15 students, so I think uh, that this amount will be made, but uh, to this day <laughs> it wasn't made. Uh, so. Okay, so you can give me contact on uh, email. Okay, thank you for your uh, answer and also again for presentation.